Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and good morning. So I'm going to be doing some yoga this morning and doing my meal prep. So I wanted to just loop you guys in. So enjoy this video and I'll see you soon. I started my yoga journey about six months ago. And when I tell you, it brings another level of peace and tranquility that I couldn't have ever even imagined. I've always watched people do yoga and I had the assumption that you had to be skinny <laughs> to do yoga. I found this video on YouTube of this girl who did yoga and how it changed her life completely and I was ready to take on the challenge. Over the past four years, I have been struggling with a disorder called irritable bowel syndrome. And in this past summer, I found out I had also polycystic ovarian syndrome. So I was just ready to change my life around and change a lot of my bad habits. And yoga was the first step to doing that. Johns Hopkins University posted an article about the nine benefits of yoga. It improves strength, balance, and flexibility. It helps with back pain relief. It can ease arthritis symptoms. It benefits heart health. It relaxes you, decreases anxiety and depression. It increases your energy and puts you in brighter moods. It helps with managing stress. It connects you with a supportive community. And it just overall promotes better self-care. This yoga pose is specific for anxiety and fatigue. It helps with decreasing the two. A lot of the twists and turns that I did in this video also are really good for promoting digestion. When I initially started doing yoga, doing this pose was almost impossible. But yoga is truly a practice and as you continue to practice yoga and you learn how to breathe through things, it definitely makes it a whole lot easier to get in the different yoga positions.
of the things I truly enjoyed the most about this specific yoga journey is just going into Shavasana at the end of each session, which is just a moment where you lay down flat on your back and you just think about all the things that you are grateful for and you just reward yourself for being on this journey. yoga that's what it's like um some days are definitely more vigorous than others but however i came up with my own like workout regimen i'm going to be doing yoga seven days a week and then three of those seven days i'm going to be doing full body toning workouts so i'm so excited to see what's next so um guys let's get into this meal prep So I'm only meal prepping right now for three days. So I just wanted to show you guys, um, I'm gonna put my overnight oats in these jars and then I'm gonna put my broccoli salad in that. These are the ingredients for the overnight oats. You can screenshot it if you'd like. Um, you can use any oatmeal. I'm using instant oatmeal because I don't really like the way the rolled oats taste. So I'm gonna see how that turns out. Um, this is the ingredients for my broccoli salad. Um, you can literally put whatever you want in it. I was just trying a bunch of new things. I love this type of cheese, so I wanted to try this in this broccoli salad. I love heirloom tomatoes, shredded carrots, red onions. I'm going to pickle them because I love pickled red onions. Um, some croutons, some walnuts, the whole nine. That's everything that's going in the broccoli salad. And I'm going to season um, the broccoli before I, I put it into the salad. And now this, I'm not meal prepping. Oh, these avocados are also going in the salad. Now this, I'm not meal prepping, but I just wanted to show you guys um, what I'm going to be eating for dinner because uh, it's so easy to make um, these veggie burgers. You literally just pop them in the oven for like 15 minutes maybe. And I'm also going to do the same thing with the sweet potatoes. So um, I usually just put my veggie burger, sprinkle a little cheese on top, some... Uh, spinach some tomatoes I usually put mayo on the bread toast the bread and then I just have some make some sweet potato chips on the side and I just use a grater to um, grate off all the skin and then I use the same grater to make the the thin slices of the sweet potato chips and I season the, the chips with onion garlic paprika so this is all the ingredients um, pretty much everything is from Trader Joe's except for that <laughs> milk is from Aldi's and that box of Oatmeal is also from Aldi's, but uh, and the bread I believe is from Aldi's as well. Everything else is from Trader Joe's, so let's get started. So here I am just putting some broccoli in the bowl. I'm gonna rinse them off. I already put some water to boil with some salt. Now I'm just cutting off the ends. Please don't judge me, but I do not eat the ends. Um, and I think midway through I realized that I wanted to actually cut the broccoli smaller because they were a little bit too chunky. So here I'm just chopping up the broccoli so after you've cut up all your broccoli you're just gonna pop them into that water that's been already heating and then just pop a lid on top and let them cook for about 20 minutes so then in a separate bowl you want to slice some red onions pretty thin um, you want to pour some white wine vinegar on top and then just let that sit on the side while you prep the rest of your veggies so here I'm just gonna put one packet of each of the oatmeal packets into each jar and then I'm going to take a, two scoops of cookie butter and let that microwave for about 30 seconds. In the meantime, I'm going to chop up the banana. You can chop it up how you want. Some people mash it up. I just slice it pretty thin. Um, and then I'm adding a tablespoon of vanilla extract and the oat milk up to the line of the oatmeal. Stir that up. Pop in your bananas. And then you want to drizzle in all that lovely cookie butter. <laughs> I also like to smear some of the cookie butter around the rim just because it's easier to scoop it up with the oatmeal. So here I'm just chopping up some walnuts just to add more flavor to this oatmeal. And there you have it. So your broccoli should be ready. I drained it and I'm now just going to pop it in the fridge to let it cool off while I finish prepping the veggies. The heirloom tomatoes are different sizes so I just picked out some fat ones. I cut them those into fours. The yellow ones I cut in half, and then the teeny tiny little orange ones, I just kept them whole. And I love tomatoes. Juicy. Here I'm just roughly chopping some burrata cheese that I'm going to add to my salad as well. So the bowl that I have the tomatoes in, I'm going to line it up with all the other ingredients. So I just added some carrots. I'm chopping up some walnuts. So 
so after you add your pickled onions and some cranberries, it should look like that. And you want to grab your broccoli out the fridge, season it, salt, pepper, onion, and garlic. Mix that up and add in all the ingredients and mix that up. Finally, I added the cheese and the Italian dressing and I just added it a little at a time. I kept tasting it because it was so good. <laughs> then I added more seasoning to it and just stirred it up. Shake it, shake it. And here I'm just now eating it, of course, because I'm greedy. <laughs> and also packing it up and I just distributed it evenly into the three bowls. I added the rest of the burrata cheese that I had left over on top and then I am going to now put together in little baggies some croutons and an avocado for each day and that's my breakfast and lunch for the next three days.